I'll hear you 10. Um, exposure is a poem about a great many things. I'm not going to pin them all down to one thing here. But boredom is certainly one of those things. Uh, and you will find parallels between the situation you've been in in the last few months and the situation that Wilfred Owen found himself in. Now, I'm not going to compare wars, pandemics, apples and pears, but the parallels are there. And it might be an interesting time to study that poem. You, like him and his um, people in the trench with him, young men uh, wanting to do something, but find yourselves limited, restricted, isolated, waiting for things to happen. You may have been waiting a long time for football, sports, even going to school. And that feeling of impotence, that you can't get things moving, will have been the same. Also as a younger generation as well, perhaps not understanding the need for these limitations, but knowing probably that that's what you've been asked to do, so you should do it, and, you know, and that's what is happening. But although I said I wouldn't really compare, I just want you to consider Wilfred Owen's position. So you've got an insight into a little bit of the boredom that he's facing. Like nothing happening. Now, you know how boredom kind of eats away and causes frustrations and uh, will make you feel disengaged sometimes with things. But you're watching this on a screen of some sort. And it might be your phone, it might be your laptop, but you're probably inside. And the weather at the moment is quite nice. So imagine those feelings of boredom and frustration but you are sitting in the middle of France in winter and it's biting cold, maybe even snow. And you're not sitting on a comfortable chair or on the edge of your bed. You are sitting in a muddy trench that's filled with water, rats, lice, etc. There is the smell of rotting flesh all around. You're hungry, you may well be diseased, and you know that at any given second you might be shot at. That changes things, doesn't it? 